Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Yonah Biashi's When Marnie Was There in 2014. Here's the Blu-ray and um, another anime review of course. Um, once again, I'm back here with this. This is a film that I watched um, last week actually. Um, it took me a while to kind of give my rating. Um, I thought I'd let my let my experience um, kind of mellow out and, and see why I'd give it, you know, I thought definitely a great, great film. Um, I knew that and I've probably said that a couple of times in these last reviews. But yes, you know, I was really just struggling with the exact rating. Um, but here we are. Finally decided, um, and yes, a film that I was really, really looking forward to um, for quite a few years now um, to see this, and finally got around to watching the Blu-ray um, last week. And yes, you know, it's a very, very interesting film, a bit more divisive again um, to some of the regular, uh, you know, Ghibli works, um, you know, and it's not directed by Miyazaki and stuff and Takahata. Um, so yeah, really, really intrigued, um, you know, before watching this film, um, and I knew it was kind of well. I mean, the front, the front of the film um, kind of says. Says many things, um, but this character of Anna, um, this basic plot, is she she goes to sit, um, you know, stay with her relatives um, because you know to kind of for her health, um, mental health and stuff uh, during the summer. Um, and yes, the wetlands, um, and, and she goes there, and you the first sort of five ten minutes of traveling there, um, and you see her at the beginning in her school, you know, um, and she's not, you know, not a character who who kind of uh, connects with a lot of people. Um, you know, she clearly this film, you know, is, is kind of about anxiety and depression um, and such and. You know, it deals with all these issues, um, and isolation, um, really, really wonderfully, of course. And it's about this, um, this character of Anna, um, you know, finding herself. And yes, uh, finding connections um, in general, um, and developing her character. And yes, you know, I think, um, you know, of course, there is a character called Marnie in the film. Um, now, this is, you know, when you know, more maybe the fantasy elements come into play, um, you know. And of course, I didn't know anything about the film really at all, um, you know, but I thought... Possibly from the front, um, we could have something, you know, that was very, very interesting to see. Um, you know, not many films, you know, certainly animated films have done this. Um, so I thought, let's just go into it. Um, and yes, from the very beginning, you know, very invested, of course. Um, you know, you've got some wonderful narration um, and just really, really relatable um, scenes. Um, and of course, she travels to see her relatives. Um, there's a bit of a dip, um, slight dip, um, ever so slightly. Once she arrives um, into the kind of uh, you know the place she's staying, she meets the relatives. They're not exactly one note, um, you know, these relatives she stays with, but they're not not the most engaging of characters, um, and it, you know, just the slightly worse off uh, than how it began. Not really flawed. Um, I wouldn't dock marks off for that. Just just maybe uh, you know something I didn't enjoy quite as much as you know the opening uh, to the film. Then you know you see Anna. Um, you know she kind she kind of interacts with many people, and of course. Yes, it's, it's a film, as I say, it's about isolation um, and just struggling to connect with people. And it does this wonderfully. Um, you know, I was so, so moved by this, um, you know, just so invested in this character of Anna. She's a great protagonist, um, of course. Um, and then, of course, the mystery, you know, kind of starts um, when she starts visiting this kind of, this mansion, um, you know, this, this, this place, um, you know, just around outside of, you know, her town and stuff um, where she's staying. Um, and, as you know, very, very mysterious, um, of course. You see many lights turning on off. Um, you, you kind of see she sees people, of course, um, and many you know many of the the surrounding um, you know people kind of say it's a haunted place. Um, so you know that you know of course that Anna is, is not really she's seeing things that other people aren't. Um, and then of course she meets this girl called Marnie, um, roughly her age, I think. Um, and of course she starts a, a friendship with her. Um, and of course at the same time, you know she she goes back and forth, you know, to her. The place she's staying, um, and it deals with you know her, her kind of her arguments um, and, and just overall relationships with uh, some of the other characters there, um, and of course, just um, this kind of this relationship with Marnie, um, she kind of finds finds peace in it, um, you know, and many other things. At least I thought, um, you know, some other flaws here. I will say, um, you know, of course, the only flaw other flaws of the film, and that is the kind of. Um, what this film is kind of set up, um, you can kind of see in the front, um, you know, and stuff. And if you watch the first half of the film, at least, um, you will think that this film is, is something that is maybe not quite, um, you know, as it turns out in the end. You know, the reveals, which is, of course, twists uh, reveal. It's just more information to the audience um, about things that have happened, of course. I'm not going to say, you know, I was disappointed with the twists uh, of the film. It's just... Some of the information, uh, you know, finally revealed just didn't quite satisfy me. Um, and it's certainly, and I've looked at some reviews, you know, this is not going to be a spoiler review, of course. I looked at some reviews, um, you know, after this, and they kind of said the same thing. The film is set up um, in the first half to be something that isn't quite, you know, I think um, it's 
really disappointing, um, you know, just, just in this, um, you know, of course, the film is not just about the relationship with Marnie, um, you know, and it's, it's, of course, there's many, many things, of course, and many other characters, actually, in the second half, um, you know, I was actually maybe, at times, enjoying it even more in the second half, with so many other characters that came into it, you know, so warm, so, so, so beautiful, and uh, just, just heartfelt, um, so much fun, of course, um, joyous film, but yes, you know, I think um, the relationship with Marnie, um, you know, it's, it's it's not for me uh, something that, that really followed through, um, you know, entirely. I think you are given these these reveals in the last twenty minutes, um, and they really are, you know, a lot of reveals that are pretty much the same thing um, it's trying to say. Um, but of course, certainly not, you know, what I thought it was, um, and I was disappointed. You know, I thought the first half I was thinking this is pretty much a flawless film. Um, I probably would have given it full marks, um, but you know, when, when reveals are given and they do taint what you've actually, maybe not taint it, um, but, you know, kind of, they don't, you know, kind of come together in the way you thought it would would do, and the way that the film's going, certainly, um, the only vibes I got from the film, really, in terms of this, was was certainly not what, uh, you know, happened in the end, um, that's all I'll, I'll say, there's no more kind of, um, you know, things there to, to hint that, but, you know, I think it was a bit disappointing, um, I was thinking, you know, they, they, they've gone through it, you know, it's great to see, um, I was so... So glad that this was this was going to get shown, um, and then the final reveals, you know, in the last twenty minutes, kind of disappointed me, and also very very strange actually. Um, it was strange. It was really strange actually. Eventually, you know, what was kind of said and, and what actually, you know, the, the relationship and stuff, and all the backstory that was given. Um, well, really, really nicely done. I think uh, that's the reason why it doesn't dock off too many marks. Uh, the reveals because. Of course, the first half and the actual relationship um, with Marnie was, was definitely, uh, throughout most of the film, portrayed wonderfully. Um, it's still entirely, you know, completely warm and heartfelt and just, um, you know, really, really engaging. Um, I love the kind of, the character study of Anna um, and, of course, the way that Marnie brought her out. You know, um, all her character and stuff and just revealed more things about her um, and also the, just the general exposition of, you know, the location and stuff. Um, wonderful stuff here. Um, but, yeah, it really did. It did, um, while it was comfort, you know, very comforting in, in many ways, it also kind of disappointed me um, because it did, it did not satisfy me um, in what I was trying to say. The first half of the film, especially, certainly the first 50 minutes, um, it was definitely something that it did not turn out to be in the end. Um, it was a bit disappointing, definitely. And it did dog marks off um, because I think, you know, really, uh, you know, I was, I was basically, you know, when you're, you're invested in something and you, you think it's something you know you're going to get you know say you know a kind of outcome that it's just going to even come together even more wonderfully um you know and bring this all to the front um you know it does sometimes disappoint you and it does it does take away from the potential you know this film could have you know in the way it could have come together the, the final act um although wonderful montages just did not satisfy me in the way that i thought it would do and it was something you know different to what i thought um it's certainly in the relationship with you know with marnie and her, her overall character um, and stuff, and you know the, the kind of backstory there. Um, what he's trying to say, but yes, it's a wonderful film. The animation um, is absolutely stunning once again. Um, the music is beautiful. Um, you know, it's not some of my favourite Ghibli music, um, but really, really wonderful stuff here. Um, just, just these characters. Um, you know, maybe one or two. You know, maybe a, a bit more one note um, in the film. Minor side characters, um, but you know, mostly. Wonderfully done here. Um, you know, this done something actually. You know, it's, it's at its best. Um, that, that most animated films have not actually really gone for. Um, it really portrayed isolation wonderfully. Um, you know, there's just a sense of sense of um, you know clash of ideals and, and you know communities as well. Um, and of course, disconnection. You know, the way that some people just cannot connect to society. Um, and of course, yes, other things. Um, you know, to kind of to kind of. Uh, not escape necessarily, but yeah, kind of, um, you know, that they find and how they deal with their problems, of course. You know, the way that it's kind of dealt with um, anxiety and depression, clearly, um, what I was getting from the film, you know, the vibes, um, really, really wonderful stuff here. Um, it's so well thought out, you know, it's, it's got such a heart, it's so sincere um, and just really, really emotional stuff. This, you know, in places moved me to tears, you know, it was really, really stunning, of course. Even with the reveals, you know, at the end of the film, um, I think it's still a, an absolutely wonderful film. Um, I would tell you this could have been a masterpiece um, if not for the reveals um, and just just the way that the film kind of panned out, you know, and what, linking back to the first half of the film and what this, you know, in, in places wasn't, you know, in the end, um, you know, 
If it had followed through um, with everything you know in the first half, um, you would definitely see me giving it you know this a masterpiece rating. Um, it was that good, um, you know. But it's still, still a great, great film. Um, you know, something that's definitely going to go on my favourite films list. Um, you know, I take this, I take this over Akira um, definitely. Um, you know, connected to pretty much all the film. Um, as I say, you know, it was wonderfully drawn. Um, the music, stunning, um, and of course. The actual, you know, portrayal, um, you know, of this, this mansion, um, the kind of mystery, of course, throughout the film um, is so well done. Um, it's so patient, um, you know, and of course, there's many, many side characters in the film that are great. You know, they're so, you know, charming. Um, you know, this film does not lose a sense of charm um, just because it's not, you know, a Miyazaki or a Takahata, um, you know, etc. Um, it's really, really wonderful film. And of course, um, mostly directed um, perfectly um, for me, actually. Um, you know, it's really, really wonderful. It doesn't come together in the way I expected and the way that really I think it should have done. Um, I think it's definitely flawed. Not just something that you know I didn't connect to in the reveals. It's something I definitely think is flawed um, in the in the way that it, you know what it actually was um, in that central relationship. Um, but you know, still a great, great film. Um, you know, in films, even if you know the main um, the kind of the characters of relationships can falter in a film, it can still be a great, great film. Um, especially you know when you have got other side characters, um, and it's doing other things. It's not just you know this this kind of relationship, and you know that, that of course is on the front, um, you know the posters and everything. It's not just about that, and um, even still, most of this stuff um, in the way that it's executed um, was really really wonderful to see. Um, it's joyous. It's, it's it's you know it's pure. Um, it's so moving this film, um, and just just beautiful to look at. Of course, um, I love the music in the film, and um, yes, of course, for me. A great, great film. So overall, of course, I'd have to give this film a 95%. Um, not quite, you know, just shy of a kind of, if I say, a full five stars. Um, you know, it'd be like a kind of four and a half if that was, you know, your kind of thing. I don't do that, of course, I do, you know, percentages and stuff. Um, so this film, an absolutely wonderful piece of cinema. Um, you know, really, really wonderful. Um, it has a character, you know, Anna, who, who, who someone I connected to fully. Um, she was perfect in the film, the portrayal of her. The relationship um, between her and Marnie and, and what kind of happened there and the way it, revealed, it was revealed in the final act, of course, linking back to the first half of the film, was disappointing for me. Um, you know, but I'm not going to be, you know, kind of hating on the film and stuff. Or, or I love the film, um, but, you know, kind of being, uh, you know, kind of biased and unfair just because it didn't, you know, it disappointed me in one thing, you know, one aspect, um, because everything else, completely wonderful, um, so unique and kind of, a melancholy film, um, this whole kind of journey, um, you know, Anna, that's the thing, you know, her kind of, her journey and her development over the film is still not really um, tainted, you could you could say, too much by this this reveal. It's just the relationship and kind of, you know, this actual, this, this actual, um, yeah, this relationship um, between this other character um, is definitely not, you know, what I expected it to be uh, and not, not completely satisfying, definitely is disappointed in that aspect of the film. Everything else, so um, pretty much perfect. Um, as I say, there's a bit of a, a slight lull, um, you know, when she, she came into the town um, for the first sort of five minutes or so. But you know, it's not not necessarily not necessarily you know kind of flawed um, part of the film. Just not a bit that was quite you know something I absolutely adored. Um, I really loved most of this film. Um, it's just such a wonderful film. Really, really warm, um, heartfelt. Um, you know, just a, a spiritual experience, um, no doubt. Just a wonderful, peaceful film as well. Um, I love the kind of the locations. Um, I just loved, yeah. As I say, this whole journey it was a wonderful narrative. Um, definitely flawed, um, you know, in some of the narrative, but really, really wonderful stuff here. I loved the side characters mostly. Um, I just loved, loved how this film, um, you know, kind of uh, it built the mystery up. It was a very, very patient film. Um, you know, I love, I love Studio Ghibli, of course. Um, you know, most of them are. Patient films, um, I don't think Nausicaa is, and a couple of ones, of course. Um, and yeah, it's just most of them, though, you know, really, really patient. The world building, um, you know, this is not Miyazaki, but it's great world building, of course. Um, not the level of, you know, that guy, of course, uh, but you know, or Takahata. Um, but it's really, really wonderful stuff um, here. The world building is beautiful, um, it really is something else. Um, this is a genius film at times, just not, not something that, you know, I kind of was fully satisfied with, um, as I say, could have been a masterpiece, um, easily, you know, I was thinking definitely it is a masterpiece, until, you know, around the halfway point, just after that, where things started, I was doubting things, and then, you know, when it was revealed, I was I was definitely disappointed, um, but as I say, 
if you've not seen the film, um, this has to be seen, um, of course. Try and get the Blu-ray, um, uh, you know, as always, but you know, this film is a beautiful one. Um, it's so it's so human, um, the level of humanity, really something else. Um, this is a film, you know, it's really, really um, honest and kind of sincere. And yes, um, what it kind of says, you know, and how, how this character of Anna, um, it's just got so many issues, of course, and it's so, it's so moving, it's so sad at times, um, but you know, of course, by the end of the film, she's gone on a journey. Um, you've gone on a journey with her. Um, whether or not you're satisfied with, with, you know, some of the relationships that she has in the film, um, you know, that, that's a different story. But the actual, the journey of her and the whole, the overall kind of film, the experience, uh, the world building, of course, and just, just the the spiritual film that it gave me um, is definitely a great film. And 95% um, is extremely high for me, of course. Um, definitely going on to my top. 500 films, um, not one of my favourite animes, um, and even, even that you know, if it kept up the quality of the first half, it's, it's not, it wasn't, you know, one of my top five or anything, uh, but definitely, definitely it was a masterpiece. Um, still my five, 500 favourite films list, of course, um, just, just a wonderful work, um, a wonderful flawed work, um, that's all, and, uh, you know, I did, I did adore the film, um, just really, really disappointed with one of the, you know, parts of the film, that was it. Just this one thing, um, you know, you probably, you could catch on to that once you've seen the film and let me know what you think in the comments, uh, especially regarding that kind of twist. Um, you know, but I like to just say reveal, you know, the information is given. Finally, you know, I think for me it was disappointing. Um, while, you know, done quite nicely uh, and comforting, there is many flashbacks in the film and kind of dream sequences if you like. But yes, the actual reveals at the end. Um, tell me what you think of that and actually the overall film, um, how it kind of ranks among, among the other, you know, Ghibli works um, and just... Yeah, anime films in general. Um, so yes, thanks for watching my review.